Good afternoon. It's a beautiful afternoon here and Mr. Sam, I am and I are sitting out here in the sun and old man Hepzibah is saying, fuck you, if you're not going to take me for a walk, I'm just going to spend all afternoon in bed. So I'm going to take him for a walk after I'm done this. I make big rugs, but I also make pot holders or plant holders. I love working with colors and these are really easy to whip up. I make three different sizes. There's small, and these are the medium ones. This one's large. I make them on a knitting loom. This is a small one, medium one, and the large one. You need minimal supplies for this. You obviously need your knitting loom. You need a pair of scissors and you need a needle like this. It has a blunt end and it has a really wide eye, big eye, so that you can thread your sheets through there. And then you need your sheets that you cut into strips. So you, I tear them into strips. So for the actual braid, I cut my strips the width of my four fingers. And then for the, for the stringing it part, I tear that strip into two, so then each, it's the width of my two fingers. So I thought I'd show you how to do it. I cut a little notch into the strip. And that's the way I attach it to the loom. There's a little knobby thing there. And then I start going around. It took me a while to figure out how to do this. Many trials and errors and ex experimentation. You don't want to do it too tightly, as with anything, crocheting, weaving, knitting. You don't want to do it too tightly. It just fucks up your work. It's not quite warm enough to sit out here and craft, but it's getting there, so I thought I would today. Okay, and then once you reach the end, I'm just going to cut a little notch into my strip here and attach it to that same post. like that. So just for consistency's sake, I always start here and I end up over here. And you're going to go in and out of each over and under each strip you have. Oh, Sam, that was a big sigh. starting to melt here just the slightest. I was talking to one of my aunts down south yesterday and she says, yeah, I'm starting to see some bare patches of earth. I'm like, yeah, no, not here. It's just white. No gravel, no dirt, no earth, no lawn, just pure snow. And most of it is in snow banks that are three feet tall. Okay, well, I messed up. I have a hard time talking and crafting 
and making videos because I get anxious and I get a little bit stressed out. So that's something I need to get used to. So you kind of get the idea. It does end up looking like this, I promise you. And it's actually pretty tight. It's nice and thick. It's great for pot holders. Um, people like putting their plants in there. If they spill a little bit of water over, it catches the water. Yeah, so if you want to try this with your kiddos or just for yourself, make great gifts. And like I said, working with color is so much fun. It's like color therapy. Bye!